do is I want to get a consent form. So I'm going to have to just enter some text in. That's very basic. You can use entering text sometimes for manipulation, sometimes for instructions. Um, right now I've copied the text of the practice consent form. I've just put it in there. Now what you're going to notice is um, is that it's a little ugly and so I'm just going to have to space it apart. Like it didn't paste in my spaces, you know? But ultimately, I'm not going to finish this out because it'll take a while and you can figure this out. But you just edit the text so it looks a little bit better and, you know, you can um, do, do what you edit this up to make it feel good here. I have some instructions for you in there that I just copied in. No big deal. I just tap outside of here and it's, it's in there. Um, and I also have to add, I need to add just like a simple multiple choice question. So I click here. Oh, what did it just do? It just did not like me. I'm going back. Oh, oh I'm going back this way. Send me back to where I was. Hit the backspace so, somehow. I want to add a new question, right? And that's just going to be a simple multiple choice. I consent to participate in this study. Uh, yes, no, I can make it two choices, yes or no. And then because, <laughs> and then you see some instructions for you there. And I, I said I would also like to just add a place for the participant to add their name so I can verify that you actually did it. Um, I can call these people. I can ask them, make sure that, um, you know, uh, students in my class are actually doing the assignment. So that's, that's important. Um, text entry is a question I would add. Please write your name below. So now that, that gets me to a consent form. That's gonna be a little ugly if I hit the preview. We'll see how ugly it is and what it looks like on a phone. Right, you can see all these things. Do you consent? Write your name below. That's very snazzy. Um, all I have to do is close this out and I can see back to where I was.